which are neither constitutionally valid nor legally tenable. Net result is that it has got embroiled in litigation before High Court and Supreme Court both. And Bombay Gambit, which was seeking to do vote bank politics, has yesterday retracted and has stayed, withdrawn temporarily its own government order giving reservation. Mr. Bombay, our, our friends of scheduled caste and scheduled tribes and backward classes, our friends in Voka leaders and Lingayat communities today ask you, Mr. Modi, we ask you, why are you cheating the people of Karnataka by the broad web of reservation that you have been? On the 132nd anniversary of Baba Sahib Ambedkar, what can be a greater treachery and injustice than to deny the enhanced reservations to SCSTs as also to demolish the entire structure of reservation they have built, the edifice of reservation that they sought to build. And the reason for that, which I told you last time, is the same. In last 90 days, my government made a mockery by changing the reservation category three times. Never in the 75 years history of India has any state government changed its reservation three times in 90 days. Only BJP and Bombay government have done so. And that also on the eve of elections. Just before the uh, code of conduct came into place. The idea is simple. Create animosity. Make sure communities and religions fight with each other. And they fight so bitterly that there is malice, confusion and enmity against each other in midst of which they can get some votes. That was the sole purpose. And I want to remind you, for four years, Congress constituted, Mr. Priyan Kharge was Minister for Social Justice. Congress constituted Justice Nagmohan Das Committee or Commission, whatever you may call. That committee gave its <coughs> report. By then, by then, the Operation Kamla had happened. BJP and Mr. Bombay and Mr. Yadurappa, both CM and the government sat over Nagmohan Das committee report. In the last session of the assembly at Belgavi, when Rahulji consistently had raised the issue, when CLP leader, PCC president consistently had raised the issue, in the last session, in a hurried manner, they brought a half-baked law. Then they forgot to put it in the ninth schedule of the constitution. How they have changed reservation thrice. I want to just give you three dates and then I'll take questions. <coughs> On 26th December 2022, this was the last date. I think session was held for two or three days thereafter. They finally accepted Nam Mohan Das committee to increase reservation for SCs from 15% to 17%. For STs from 3% to 7%. But Mr. Bombay acted with classical dishonesty. Bombay ji is a politically dishonest man. Personal dishonesty is being spoken about by BJP MLAs. I'm not going to go there. But in a act, in a treacherous act of political dishonesty, Chief Minister Bombay and his government did not send the law to central government. And they also did not put the law in the ninth schedule of the constitution. The total reservation became 56%. It violated the ceiling of 50% in Indra Sani's case. So on 14th March 2023, when a parliamentary question was asked, Modi government said, we reject the reservation of SCSTs and there will be no increase in ceiling of 50%. They have replied on the floor of the parliament, if you have seen it, I am not going to repeat it. On 29th December 2022, so the change came on 26th December. Within three days, they changed the reservation second time. Then they created new 
categories. Category three A to two C, which is vocal ligas and others. Category three B to two D, lingayat and others. And they say now give fresh the way. Then on twenty four March twenty twenty three, in the last meeting of the cabinet, they again change reservation. They transferred a pittance of two two percent reservation to Voka Liga category where under fifty P categories are there, castes are there, and to two percent to Linga category where also about hundred castes are there. Voka Liga has been demanding twelve percent reservation. Lingaites have been demanding fourteen or fifteen percent reservation. Other backward classes have been asking for reclassification of the categories. <coughs> Schedule castes are demanding 15% to 17% enhanced reservation. STs are demanding 3% to 7% enhanced reservations. Some categories of backward classes also want to go to scheduled tribe category. Many categories are saying we are not properly represented. How could all these interests be compromised? And my not percent reservation was snatched. All this was done without a report of the backward class commission. We all know the Maharashtra Maratha reservation was quashed by the Supreme Court when BJP government was in power recently on this ground. That interim report of backward class commission cannot be a basis for giving reservation or changing reservation. There is no final backward class report till today. But on 26 December, 29 December, 24 March, they changed the reservation price. Finally, what has happened? The matter has gone to Supreme Court. In the Supreme Court, on 13 of April 2023, the Solicitor General of India, appearing for Mr. Bombay and his government, said, "We are not going to implement reservation. Can there be a bigger betrayal with the children?" With the people who look up to Baba Sahib Ambedkar for protection and affirmative action in shape of reservation enshrined in our constitution, Mr. Bombay, you are mocking Baba Sahib's ideals. Mr. Modi, you are decimating Baba Sahib's ideals. Mr. Friends of BJP, multiple friends who make for fake and false statements. You have actually demolished the edifice of reservation. Even the existing one is now in doubt. Once the government order is withdrawn, please answer, Mr. Bombay. Where should the Voka Liga go? Their existing reservation has also been stayed. Voka Liga's existing reservation has also been stayed because you have withdrawn the government order. Lingayat existing reservation has also gone. You have withdrawn the government order giving reservation. SCST's existing reservation is gone. Forget about enhanced. You withdrawn the order. So this is a this is now a state where there is no reservation in effect till Tuesday. Somebody has only challenged enhanced, but you are saying we are withdrawing all reservation. Is this the gift you give on 132nd? Birth anniversary of Baba Sahib to our Kannadiga brothers and sisters. Is this the gift you give to SC, ST, OBC, minorities, vocalists, lingayats? The decision is not only foolish, but it is maliciously foolish. It is deliberately foolish. So my government is a government of fools, run by fools, but for intelligent Kannadigas. It's time to remove a government of fools and run by fools who are malicious, mischievous, malafide. It's time to purge and remove such a government. And we demand, Chief Minister Mr. Bombay, before denying reservation to SC, ST, OBC completely, before denying reservation to Voka Ligas and Ligai, even existing reservation completely, taking away minorities reservation completely, you should resign. For your statement in the Supreme Court is sacrilegious. It's sacrilege. 
you have withdrawn complete reservation. Any questions, you're welcome to ask. Are you a National Congress stands for removing the 50% ceiling of reservation. I repeat, the answer is very one line clear. Mr. Siddharamaya has said it. Mr. D.K. Shiv Kumar has said it. I have said it. I repeat again on the anniversary of 132nd anniversary of one of the greatest Indians, Baba Sahib. The Indian National Congress believes that the 50% ceiling of reservation must be removed and increased. You will then take care of Vokaliga's aspirations. You will then take care of Lingayat's reservations, uh, aspirations for increased reservation. Automatically, the increased reservation of SC and ST will get accommodated. Now, since it's 56%, it has been stayed. OBCs, if they want a greater share based on a survey, then their aspirations must also be heard. This is a state where there are a large number of OBCs. Our solution has been simple from day one. Solution number two, we recommend it. The increased reservation for SCSTs must be protected by putting it in the ninth schedule of the constitution. I'm giving you clear cut, precise answers. Why is BJP not doing it? Our president, Shri Malika Rajan Khadge has gone on record. Our leader, Khadge Sam, has gone on record to say, we are supporting the parliament to increase. But what does BJP do? On 14th March 2023, they reply in parliament that no SCST reservation can be increased and that 50% ceiling will not be increased. This is betrayal. What we are doing is in good faith and we stand committed to it. Yes, sir. Thoda sa sir, jaur se. Thoda boda ho na, kabhi kabhi dhusha. Nei, saun baan ga. My friends, you are after post. And I am after as a party. I say it doesn't mean me, I'm nobody. The Indian National Congress and its leaders are not up to post. We are, we are for a change, meaningful change that will transform lives of Dalits, backwards, middle class, scheduled tribes, minorities, Vokalikas and Lingayats. We will rebuild Karnataka. We will rebuild brand Karnataka. To you it appears this is only a hankering for power. To me, it appears this is a transformative process of change. That's the difference in your and my subjective image. Okay. How is that? We are trying to break the BJP. They don't have the candidates of the BJP. Hence, they're going off the BJP. What the CM himself is saying. Well, I'm a. I'm very happy to hear uh, that Mr. Mumbai has finally uttered one word of truth in his entire career. For he, has, he is a professional liar, not lawyer. He never speaks anything that is true. Why does he not go and then take training from Mr. Amisha? If he feels truth is RTA Janta Party is imploding. RTA Janta Party is breaking up. RTA Janta Party is cracking. Bhartiya Janata Party is a is on most dive, it's a sinking ship and that's why over 40 MLAs, MPs, MLCs, ex-MLAs, ex-MPs, BJP senior leaders, somebody is doing a prize ship in Mysore before Mahatma Gandhi statue, another, another one of their MLAs 
is calling chief minister a 40% commission agent. He didn't say so. Another one is crying and saying this is not the BJP that they knew. This is a BJP based on money and muscle power or ED and income tax power, if I may replace the word muscle power. So if BJP has lost its character and moorings, then he should look within. He is not even from BJP, incidentally. He is also a defector who has come into BJP. So he is the last one who should be given this lecture. So they took your 13 MLAs. Are you having the last and last <coughs> I believe in democracy. Defections to form government is a immoral way and it disrespects the mandate of the people. Sir, Mr. Arun, sir, sir, sir let me answer his question. Sir, he is your friend. Operation Kamala is a blot on the constitution and democracy. <laughs> Mr. Modi and Mr. Amit Shah and Mr. Yadurappa and Mr. Bombay should hang their head in shame for, for stealing the mandate of people of Karnataka when they formed an illegitimate government. I want to say to your viewers and to your readers, friends, Beware of this brush Janata party. They want to buy your vote before the election and they want to buy your MLAs after the elections. Let's put an end to this. Give Congress party a clear mandate of 150 plus and we will see to it that the politics of higher arms, gaya arms, symbolized by PM Modi, Amit Shah ji and others finish it once for all. राजनीति में शिष्टाचार मुलाकात पाप नहीं है मुझे कहीं प्रधानमंत्री जी मिलते हैं तो मैं उनको हाथ जोड़कर नमस्कार जरूर करता हूँ राहुल जी भी करते हैं क्योंकि वो हमसे उम्र में पड़े तो अगर कोई नेता सिद्धार मैया जी और डी के शिव कुमार जी से मिलने आए चाहे वो हमारा राजनीतिक तौर से विरोधी क्यों ना हो ये संस्कार की कमी भाजपा में है कांग्रेस में नहीं हम अपने विरोधी को भी क्योंकि तो हमारा विरोध राजनीतिक और वैचारिक हो सकता है व्यक्तिगत नहीं मोदी जी तो व्यक्तिगत दुश्मनी निकालते हैं जो वो राहुल गांधी जी और कांग्रेस से या दूसरे विपक्षी नेताओं से निकाल रहे हैं हमारा ये मानना है कि हर तरह का विचार समाज में होना चाहिए इसीलिए तो मोदी जी यहाँ बैठकर आपके सवालों का जवाब नहीं देते और हम देते हैं ये तो अक्सर है सर ही केम फॉर ए सोशल कॉल टू हैव ए कप ऑफ टी तो हमने चाय पे चर्चा की उस चर्चा का नतीजा क्या होगा वो आपको फिर बताएंगे सर देखिए एक बात बताऊ मैं अगर पंडित जी बता सकते हैं क्योंकि मैं तो किसान हूँ किसान को तो कल फसल में बारिश होगी उसका नुकसान हुआ तो भी पता नहीं होता किसान को बेचारा हमेशा त्रासदी की मार झेलता है इसलिए मैं तो आज इस मिनट क्षण तक बता सकता हूँ अगले क्षण का मुझे मालूम नहीं सर जो लोग अभी अभी हमारे दोस्त सीनियर दोस्त पूछ रहे थे जो लोगों को आप गाली देते थे जिन लोगों को आप आम उनके जो कारनामे को आप गाते थे आज उन्हीं को आज नमस्कार कर रहे हैं क्या कांग्रेस डेस्परेट है इनको लेने के लिए आज या या कांग्रेस 